Before we get into this video, let me tell you a fun fact. 4% of people are attracted to children. So 4 out of 100 people will be attracted to kids. The average people in Disneyland at a certain time is 46,000. That means there's over a thousand predators in Disneyland at one time. Here's a little fun fact. Let's get straight into the video. So today we're going to be talking about a kick streamer that I'm very confused about. I don't know if I hate him or if I think he's all right. My brain is flip-flopping back and forth. His name is Vitaly. Now Vitaly has a long history of being a prankster on YouTube. He doesn't do the best pranks. To be honest, they're a bit mean. He kind of just goes out and tries to get a rise out of people like stealing their phone, pretending they're ordering a hitman to kill them and like the obvious pranks in the hood type stuff from ages ago like the Roman at which was racist behavior and you're probably thinking that was ages ago he's probably changed since then well in 2020 Vitaly got arrested for beating a woman to a pulp this woman he did not know he apparently took too much mushrooms and went into psychosis and just started beating up this woman. It was a completely unprovoked attack that Vitaly just felt like she deserved. It's a pr if, if you see the photo, he beat her to a pulp. She was beaten. But Vitaly is back and because YouTube doesn't want much to do with him, he's moved over to the best, the most grey, no bad people on streaming platform, Kick. No shady behavior going on there. And what does he do on kick? Well, he does predator poaching. Basically, this is a very popular thing. It's like Chris Hansen to catch a predator, basically. They lure predators in, thinking that they're gonna meet minors, but it's actually down there, and then they confront them. But the difference is people like Chris Hansen have the police involved. They have the evidence ready, perfectly laid out, and they have the police on, the cameras on, everything's official and good. Even people on YouTube, great channel for watching Predator Poachers, that do good work, Peter Jean, he has everything ready, he works so hard on getting these Predators repercussions, brings their families, great channel, you should watch. But Vitaly does it a bit different. The geek is talking! Say I'm sorry. He's more in it for the entertainment. I think he just found the legal loophole. Because people don't like when you fuck with normal people. But when they're it's okay. You can, no one cares if you're mean to a p I know they're p but I have too much empathy. I feel bad for them. I know I probably shouldn't feel bad for them, but I do. I think the craziest thing he did is he was in this like high rise apartment with this predator and he gave him a parachute and told him to parachute off the edge. Can you take that parachute? We're gonna skydive. Huh? What do you mean? I want to put this parachute on you and you're going to jump out the window. No <laughs> way. Yes, way. It opens. I just checked it. I just jumped it. Why, why do you think this is funny? He didn't actually make him do it, but it's pretty funny that he was like, yeah, no, bro. If you want to survive, you're going to have to jump. Like, it's so fucked up, but it is entertaining. It's entertaining. And that's where the, the I can't decide whether he's good or not, because I know he's just doing it because he likes to fuck with people. Like he doesn't care about them being predators. Vitaly isn't a good person, but it's just entertaining to see predators just get tortured. He shaves their heads. Now these were all a bit extreme, but they were all funny up till a few days ago. Him and Bradley Martin allegedly caught the Space Jam and oh, Kindergarten Cop producer, Henger you know Allen Wigginshire. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, fuck. What's your name? Who are you? What's your Who name? You? Who are you? Why are you suing my fucking daughter? What's your name? Rick. What is your name? Boris. My name is Boris. What's Boris. Your what, what's your name? Shake my hand. What's the problem? Why are you suing my fucking daughter? You know how old she is? I don't I have no idea. You have no idea? I have no idea. You have no idea? No. What the fuck you thought was going to happen here? Nothing. I, we're going to have a pizza. I don't know. Pizza? Yeah, you don't know? What a, how old is she? Brad. I met, you know I, how old she is? I matched with her. She was 23. 23. Is that, is that what the conversation, conversation looked like? You know the text messages? She was 23 on a 23. dating site. On a, dating, on a site. dating site? Yes. Yeah? Yeah, she was 23 on how a dating site. How old is she? Site. I have no idea. Lila, how old are you? 15. I'm sorry. She was 23 on a dating site. All we've done is so talk. she didn't tell you. She didn't tell you how old she was. She did. She did. Yeah. How old is she? She said she was fifteen. How did she tell you how old she actually is? She said she's fifteen. 15. She said she's fifteen. Why? Yeah. Why, why are you here? Why are you sitting here? I'm just ha having a with a fucking fifteen-year-old. Having a pizza. Piece of pizza with a fucking fifteen-year-old. 
It's not against the law. You think that's law. okay? I think it's not against the law. It's not against the law? No. Is that all you spoke about to her? It's, that, we've just been talking. And really? Yeah, we've been talking and flirting. It's not a big deal. 15 year old. Oh shit. I'm sorry, it's not a boy. It's a girl. It's not confirmed, but it's him. It's 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 him. Which is crazy because if you know anything about the higher ups in Hollywood, you should probably not fuck with them. There's a chance he's gonna get a bullet in the back of the head now because there's some shady stuff going on at these Hollywood Hollywood people. So that was the first thing where it's like maybe he's taken this too far. He's probably risking his own life at this stage but that's nothing new for vitali but then it just kind of got sad so it was just another day for vitali he caught another predator and everything was going as planned until someone came up and sucker punched the predator the predator was 73 so you can imagine punching a 73 year old it's not gonna fare well for the 73 year old now the 73 year old was knocked onto the ground and there was blood everywhere obviously i can't show the blood everywhere but he was literally on the ground blood gushing out of him and there was just someone screaming he needs some milk he needs some milk it's too far listen i get the guy's a predator and it's so hard because being a predator is probably one of the worst things you can be and i hate defending them but I just have too much sympathy for people. But I feel like that's very fucked up. Like, very. I know he's a predator, but it's just too far. I mean, get the law involved. Get everyone involved. But just don't hurt him. Especially knock a 73-year-old onto the ground. Just put him in prison for the rest of his life. And there's going to be a lot of people watching this video being like, he deserves it. And maybe he does, but in my brain, I'm just like, I feel bad for him, even though he's a predator. Vitali also lost his kick deal after the incident, because obviously kick can't give someone a deal. He was assaulting people on stream, even though it wasn't him that assaulted him. He's like enabling people to just come up and assault 73 year olds, leaving them bleeding on the ground and then screaming, he needs some milk. It's very, very fucked up. That's why I think Vitali is evil. He doesn't care about anyone. He cares about himself and he just wants to fuck with people. And he found a loophole where people will let him fuck with people because they're pedophiles. Like if he was doing this to normal people, it would obviously be terrible, but they're pedophiles so he can do it. So he just feels like he's even, he can go even further with his pranks because they are pedophiles. And I think, it kind of needs to stop. Unless he starts doing it properly. Because he also... He doesn't call the police. He asks chat. Should they call the police? And they do a poll in chat to see if the police should be called. And sometimes the chat says no. So the police don't get called when obviously they should be. It's just so fucked up. It's just making very, very disgusting and illegal activity into content. And that just shouldn't be. Now don't get me wrong, it can be content if it's done in the right way with the right precautions. Like again, Skeeter Jean on YouTube to catch a predator. They were all done perfectly with the evidence ready for the police. But this guy just does it sloppily, doesn't really care. And realistically, none of his people that are he's getting in jail are going to get any repercussions because he's not going to do the police reports properly. It's just another instance of a kick streamer being a kick streamer. I really, really hate the kick platform now. At the start, I hated it. But every day, I think I'm hating it even more. It just allows the scum of the earth to make scum of the earth content. Regulations are good. Regulations are there for a reason. There's a reason Twitch and YouTube and all have regulations. Thanks for watching that. And just before the video ends, I just want you to remember, whenever you go to Disneyland or you go in public, three in a hundred people are pedophiles.